So this video is going to be all about an elegant person in the kitchen. What condition should the kitchen of an elegant person be? The condition of the different parts of your home says a lot about you as a person. And if you truly want to be considered an elegant person, it is highly imperative that every house or every room in your household should be in a well-organized state. Believe it or not, the condition of the different parts of your house affects your mood, whether mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally, and has a way of either elevating or dampening your spirit. So regardless of where you live, the space you have to work with, and whatever budget it is you have to work with for your space, you can turn your home to a safe haven of comfort for yourself. And this is one of the things that I preach in this winning school of elegance. Some time ago, we tackled an elegant person in the bedroom. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on an elegant person in the kitchen. What should the condition of your kitchen be like as an elegant person? Let's talk about it right now in this video. Before we go into the video, I would like to thank my official sponsors for today's video, which is the George Residence. We're currently filming in their facility, and as we proceed with the video, I'll tell you a little more about them. Trust me, you guys would definitely love this one, so stick around to hear all I have to say about the George Residence, okay? Now, this topic is a topic that's actually very important to me because some of you already know me as a culinary expert. I have a second channel called Delicious Foods. That's actually the first channel I started my journey with. You can go check it out later if you want. And I just teach people how to make different types of deli cases. And so, and that's why I'm saying that this episode is quite important to me. Now, the kitchen is actually one of the most used parts of a house, but it's also, unfortunately, one of the part that pays that people pay very little to no attention to in terms of keeping it tidy and organized the reason you must keep your kitchen tidy and organized is the kitchen is a place where you prep cook and store the meals that go into your body imagine a place where you prep cook and store the meals that go into your body and you leave it untidy disorganized um, you make it a habitable place for pests, germs, and diseases to lurk. That's not very elegant, and that's actually not very hygienic, <laughs> if I'm being honest. And that's why it's important that you pay some attention, a lot of attention, to your kitchen, even more attention than you pay to any other parts of your house. So remove elegance aside, it's actually the hygienic and the healthy thing to do for yourself okay no matter the kind of kitchen you have or the kind of space you have to work with your kitchen can and actually should and must be in a clean and an organized state at all times for many obvious reasons now before we proceed with this video i'm going to give you a little bit of an assignment so what you're going to do right now for me is take a walk to your kitchen right now and look around your kitchen ask yourself one question do I like the state of this kitchen? Do I like what my kitchen looks like? If your answer is no, then this video is certainly for you because I'm about to give you tips on how you can revamp and make your kitchen look very clean, organized, and just very elegant. If your answer is yes, you may like what your kitchen looks like, of course, you can still keep watching this video because you might pick one or two things that you can add to actually bump up your kitchen style. If you don't have the big budget to work with and you have to maintain the particular structure you have, but you still want to revamp your kitchen space, one question you can ask yourself is what small changes can I make to upgrade the look of this kitchen space right now? So the small change can be as small as repainting the walls maybe the last time you painted the walls was like maybe five years ago can you repaint the walls a small change can be you changing the cabinets the look of the cabinet the exterior part of the cabinets can you change the exterior part of the cabinets can you change the floor of the kitchen maybe the small change can be maybe adding brighter lights to the kitchen space to make the ambience of the kitchen a lot brighter. What small changes can you 
add to it the finishing touches that can make your kitchen just have a remodeled look and another way that I, I also tell people who don't have a big budget to work with you can actually give yourself make your kitchen remodeling uh, a project like a long time project and you can say in three months i want to revamp the whole kitchen and then every month you take one part of the kitchen and invest some money to it and change it then the next month you change another part and before you know it in three months you probably would have changed the entire kitchen but it doesn't happen if unless you are conscious and aware and you're paying attention to the little things that you need to do to change the kitchen. The little changes can even be just reorganizing your kitchen space, opening up the cupboards, cleaning it out and just reorganizing the whole thing. So ask yourself, what little changes can I make to revamp my kitchen space? Dutch Residence is your exclusive home away from home destination, offering contemporarily styled luxury and comfortable service departments in the heart of Lagos, Nigeria. With over 30 luxury apartments scattered in different locations in Lagos, you are sure to satisfy your innermost indulgences at a highly cost-effective rate. Every apartment can be used for short let and long stay purposes, honeymoon resident locations, the perfect spots to host your birthday parties, bridal showers, and other small social functions, and it's also perfect for video content creation and photo shoots. From a three-bedroom penthouse suit with a lake view to an executive two-bedroom, one-bedroom, and studio apartment, you can enjoy the splendor of your daily lifestyle with exceptional privacy and comfort in a serene atmosphere. You can check out their website www.jodresident.com to read more about them and then check out the description box down below for my promo code which gives you 20% off your first booking. You guys go to George Residence and enjoy life, okay? <laughs> The third point that I put down here, which of course I've mentioned in the second point, would be painting. Like I said, a little change that you can make, add to your kitchen would just be to paint the walls, the ceilings and the walls. And for I always say to people that um, the dominant color for a kitchen should always be light and then just because light brings um, light colors brings brightness into the kitchen. You can use white, you can use off-white, you can use colors like gray. The kitchen is already a place where heat is usually um, um, usually would have heat as as often as possible. So you don't want colors that generate heat. You want colors that still calm the mood and calm just the ambience of the entire space. And then you can add patterns and textures with your backsplash or maybe the the tiles that you're choosing if you want to add tiles to things. And then you can use wallpapers in your kitchen as well. Always ensure that the dominant main color is a bright and a light um, color for you to work with. That's one way to elevate the look of your kitchen and make it look very elegant and very classy. The next point that I've put down here, I also talked about this earlier, would be your lighting. Now, if you really want to elevate the look of your kitchen, you will need to pay attention to lighting. Not just the lighting that lights up the entire ambience of the kitchen, but put lighting in strategic locations that beams light on particular things in the in the kitchen space. So usually you can put a strip light around the cabinet at the bottom of the cabinet just to shine light at the bottom. You can put light underneath the um, the cabinet that the, the top shelf in. You can put light underneath it just to beam light on the countertop. You can put light, just put light, at, look for ways to put light in strategic locations so that um, the ambience of your kitchen is not just looking flat. Like you, just, you don't just have one light in the ceiling giving light to all of the room. You have light in strategic places that when you walk in, like you, you can tell that, oh, there's a light beam in here. It just brings a lot of class and beauty to your kitchen space. Another way that you can elevate the look of your kitchen, and this one is really one thing that's very elegant and classy, is to have a statement area in your kitchen. So a statement area can be an area where you put just very beautiful decorative pieces. So in my personal kitchen, the kitchen I use at home, I have this beautiful statement area that has a touch of blue to it. So if you guys know me, I'm, I'm, my favorite color is blue. What you want to achieve with the statement area is to create attention and give a, a, a create attraction to that area. So whenever anyone comes in, that's like it's one place that they will not miss 
in your kitchen and you will just be like, oh, that's a beautiful spot right there. I love what you did there. So always have a statement area in your kitchen. A statement area is also a place where you can actually also nicely, decoratively just display your your dishware, like the plates you use, your your cutlery is also a place you can put your, your glassware just to display it nicely for people to see. So create a statement area in your kitchen. The next point that I've put down here would be to categorize items into sections. So this pretty much means that everything in your kitchen should have a place for habitation. So pots and pans should be stored in a particular location in the cabinets breakfast type things like your coffee machine or your coffee, your beverages and everything you use for breakfast should have a particular section in the kitchen. Your dishware or and your glassware should have a particular section in the kitchen. Your cutlery where you have your forks and knives and spoons and all of that should have a particular section. You should have a section for your mixing bowls, the things you use for your salad bowls, like Everything bowls should be kept in one place and then maybe your topperwares as well. You should have a section for your napkins and your apron. I tell you, when you categorize things like that, it not just only brings, uh, makes the whole kitchen look classy and elegant, it also brings uh, some form of order to the kitchen. Your kitchen looks organized and put together and at any time of the day, you know exactly where this is and you can go reach even in the dark. You can go reach for, oh, that's where my pot is. I go reach out for the pot. And then, of course, when you're done using each of these items, you clean them back and put them back where they belong. That's another way to definitely elevate the look of your kitchen. Another way to elevate your kitchen space would be to organize your cabinets and your pantry. Don't just throw things and just throw them because, oh, because nobody, maybe the, the cabinet is covered, no one's going to see anything. Just throw it anyhow and then cover it. And sometimes some people, when you open their cabinets, like literally things literally fall out of it. It's like they're having third world war in their cabinets and that's not very okay for an elegant person. So you need to always ensure that you're organizing your cabinets uh, and your pantry and everything is carefully placed like your blenders and your appliances are carefully placed and one is not falling over each other okay that's very important and one thing that can help you organize your cabinets and your pantries i've put down here is that you must invest in storage containers so invest in, in spice containers food racks baskets these things just help you um, for example i personally have a storage container for all of my spices I have a storage container for my nuts and my seeds. I have a storage container. There's a storage container for pretty much everything. So that would help you organize your pantry and your cabinet in such a way that whenever anyone opens it, it has order, like it's, it's clean and it's very organized. And that's the state you want your kitchen to always be in at all times as an elegant person. The next point that I've put down here would be to deep clean your kitchen at least once every week and then you can do the surface cleaning every single day. Deep cleaning your kitchen requires you to clean out your appliances, clean out the fridge, clean out the microwave, do a thorough rehaul or reorganization of the cabinet, the drawers, just bring out everything and literally clean it at all times. And then surface cleaning just requires you to clean the surfaces every day, ensuring that there's no dust, there's no germs, there's no dirt looking around. Surface cleaning will be to do the dishes every single day, ensuring that the sink is always clear at all times. Surface cleaning can be a spray in the room or ventilating the kitchen so that there is air circulating. So always do a deep clean once a week and then a surface cleaning every day okay the next point that i've put down here would be to put things away as soon as you use them and this is when you're actively present in the kitchen so maybe you've come back from the grocery store and you've bought some groceries instead of just putting the groceries on the countertop and leaving we organize the groceries you have bought immediately and put away the nylon bags put away the grocery bags don't leave them lying around on the countertop. So as soon as you have come back, put things away into the cabinets, in the pantry or in the fridge, wherever they belong. When you're cooking, if you use a chopping board, wash them off immediately, put them where they belong. 
plates the, uh, the, the plates in the rack after washing them. Just put things away as soon as you're done using them and don't just leave them lying around and say, oh, I'll do it later. If you keep doing that, you would what, what you will do is that you are forming a practice of leaving things undone. And before you know it, you will just keep accumulating things undone. And before you know it, your kitchen will turn into an organized place where pests and germs and everything not nice has a place to just enjoy and feel good with themselves. <laughs> so put things away as soon as you use them, okay? The next point I've put down here would be to clean up after yourself, especially when you're cooking and then after eating. This one, whenever you're cooking, always ensure that you do not wait until the end of the cooking process. As once you once you cook and you make a mess, you clean up immediately. That way you are actually performing standard practice of an elegant person who is always clean and organized and you are not um, considered as someone who is very dirty. So I see when people are cooking sometimes, by the time they are done cooking, you enter the kitchen you're like, what happened in this kitchen? Did somebody fight a war here? That should not be said of you, my elegant people. The next point here that can help you elevate the look of your kitchen would definitely be for you to ventilate. Now, believe it or not, the smell of your kitchen determines the condition or the state of that kitchen. Sometimes you walk into a, play, a person's kitchen and then the smell of that kitchen is very stuffy or very, you can tell that there's maybe smells of dampness, there's something like it smells of old furniture, like it's just, there's just this dominant smell that's not very nice. So it's important that you are ventilating your kitchen. When you're cooking, always ensure that the windows are open. Don't shut the windows, keep them open. And then ever so often, ventilate the kitchen, allow for air to come through. And then of course, if you can invest in diffusers and room, um, room fresheners and all of that, use that in your kitchen as well. Whenever you're done cooking or whenever you're done make, doing something that has a very foul or offensive odor. The next point I've put down here is do not leave the trash in the kitchen overnight. This is wrong practice, especially if you have organic food products in the trash. Always ensure you take out the trash every night before you go to bed. This would also definitely prevent um, pests and germs from festering in your kitchen and having a few time in the kitchen. So always ensure that you're taking out the trash. And one thing I found, I think it happened to me once where I left the trash overnight and by the next day when I came out of my room and into the kitchen space, the kitchen had this very foul odor, like I'd left tomato in the in the trash and by the next morning it was very, I didn't really like, it was, I was never going to do that any, any, anymore. So always ensure that you take out the trash every night, okay? Every day, okay? And the last point that I have here on my list to help you have an elevated look or an elevated kitchen would be, of course, don't leave plates in the sink overnight. Wash your dishes before you go to bed. Dishes should not be kept in the sink overnight. Invest in a dishwasher if you don't like doing the dishes, but if you don't have a dishwasher, please always ensure that you do the dishes every night. So these are very little tips that you can use to elevate the look of your kitchen. Something else you can do if you have a budget is to add maybe um, a ventilator or an air conditioning unit in the, in the kitchen. It literally helps. I mean, when you're cooking and then there's fresh AC coming in, coming to you, even when the windows are open, but there's still cool air hitting you so that the heat is not really affecting or hampering with your skin and all of that. So just pay attention to these little tiny things. And of course, also invest in quality cookwares. Quality cookwares also help elevate the look of your kitchen. Invest in quality dishwares, invest in mugs, invest in glasswares invest in quality cutleries and then something else that i find that actually also elevates the look of your kitchen would be for you to invest in props like things like flower vases flowers um, picture frames just put them at strategic locations in the kitchen to just help just make your kitchen more homely more welcoming more inviting just little tiny props like this actually help a flower plant just do something there is definitely something you can do in your kitchen today to elevate the look. And like I said before, you don't have to make it a one-time thing if you don't have a big budget. You can just identify the things and over a course or a period of time, you can take things one by one and before you know it, 
you would have a completely elevated kitchen. If you have any other things that we can add that can help us elevate our kitchens as elegant people, please do not hesitate to share in the comment section down below and let's continue the conversation from there. And that's all I have for you in today's video. I'll see you again with another video. Until then, remember to stay very elegant. Mm -hmm.